This is a pretty old industry, construction is, and we have a lot of old practices that I think need to, to change and, and uh, we've slowly been chipping away at them. BDC decided to meet with entrepreneurs who share the same ambition, to do things differently. By impacting the future, these visionaries are proof that change is happening now. Here in Calgary to meet with an indigenous entrepreneur, Travis Powell, who has decided to do things slightly differently in his sector, construction. We're here to learn about his ambitions. Travis, let's start first and foremost. Was it a business issue that you were trying to solve or another problem? We were hauling material to landfill, uh, you know, very far distances. And in our case, we we're hauling about 350 kilometer round trips with trucks. We were running into more and more issues with contaminated soil. So we absolutely saw the need for uh, a different way of doing this rather than the conventional dig and dump method. I do a lot of research into a new equipment, uh, like reading about new technologies, new ideas on how we can handle uh, material. And I came across this just on YouTube, actually, initially. And then we started reading more into it. And the more I looked at it, the more I thought that this had a real business case in Calgary, just because of our soil types, primarily. Using the old way of moving concrete far away from the city, the using trucks, and that does create gas emission. We're doing a neat project with the city of Calgary right now where they've hauled 1,300 tons of, of uh, contaminated soil out of the Bull River. On that uh, particular project, it worked out to about 54 tons of CO2 emission savings wow. compared to how we would have had to do it before, uh, which was, uh, I think, at 8.6 homes uh, is what we could power through a year, and it's about nine cars a year that we take off the road just with those transportation emissions. And what kind of environmental impact you're creating for the society with this plant? So when this facility is at full capacity, it will, will reduce the uh, construction burden by about 22,600 tons of emissions, uh, which is the equivalent of removing about 4,300 cars off the road for a year. Talking more about your big ambitions as an entrepreneur, Sustainability is, is, is key, but in addition to that, you try to also have an impact on your community. Is, is that right? We're, we're Métis. What it means to me, I think, is to make sure that we're fostering an environment that will make sure that these people are accepted. 15% of our employee base is, uh, is Indigenous, and we'd like to grow that, uh, that number. And do you do this on purpose? I would say that we do it on purpose. We make a uh, we make an effort to make sure that we're uh, you know trying to hire from uh, the re reserves around Calgary, whether it's the Six Ica Nation, Sutina Nation, uh, that sort of thing. Yeah, uh, you have to have grit. It's not always going to be a fun uh, road that you travel down, but uh, you're going to make progress uh, day over day, and uh, you might fall back a little bit, but you uh, if you keep trudging on, you're going to eventually uh, reach your goals.